没有。Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Have a good holiday. Yeah. Just quiet. There you go. Quiet, safe. A lot, of, a lot of gardening. That's good. Be outside. The air is really nice and fresh. Yeah. I'm ready. You're ready. All right. Two blocks, please. Place them at the front of your mat. And we shall lay on our back. And let's come into a constructive rest pose. Okay, so your constructive rest pose is your knees are bent, feet to the mat. Bring your feet to the ends of your mat and then just drape your arms across your chest. Okay, so you're just folding at the elbows, the knees will touch. Let your hands be soft and hang. And then as you lay here, Okay, with the knees touching, arms crossed. You feel the back of your head against the mat, let your shoulders drop towards the mat. You begin to deepen your breath. Okay, find a nice smooth rhythm of your breath here. As you lay, I will read you an excerpt from a poem called There is an Old Tree Growing. The universe shaped you from earth. Inside, there is an old tree growing, molded by the generations before you. Through lightning, rain, and storm, it continues to flourish. Trust in the wisdom growing inside you. Trust that rest bring your goals closer. Thank you for taking your moment as you breathe, trusting in your practice this evening, trusting in the way your body feels, allowing it to guide you. Allow the thoughts to come and go. Again, just trusting where you are on your mat. Just keeping your arms crossed. Let's come into Gauri Dawson arms, eagle arms. Just bringing your forearms, the back of the hands together, or maybe wrapping. Lifting the elbows, lifting the hands, and then just feeling your shoulder blades move away from each other so you feel the very middle of your shoulder blades against the mat. You're gonna draw your navel in towards your spine. You're gonna tuck your tailbone. Okay, tilting the pelvis back so you feel your lower back against it. Okay, really contracting the core. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, tuck your chin and just slowly lift your shoulders and your head as you feel you're peeling the shoulders of the head off the mat and contracting the core. Keep the knees together. Take an inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower down. You'll open your arms wide. Palms up. Feel the arms against the floor. Palms are up. Take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale to recross. Okay, so coming right back into Garudasana arms, okay, recross on the arms. And then just doing the very same thing, you're pulling the shoulder blades away from each other, feeling the middle of the upper back against the mat, tilting your pelvis back, tailbone lengthens towards the ceiling, don't feel your lower back against the mat, your core engages, take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale, slowly peel yourself up, lifting the shoulders and the head. Uh, take a nice deep inhale. And then exhale to unravel. Bring the arms back up to the side. Open the knees wide. Just let the knees float from side to side. Okay, 
take a deep breath. And on your exhale, let's bring the knees together. Draw them in towards your chest. Float the shoulders and the head up one more time. And this is Yogi's choice. Rock yourself up. Come to your hands and knees. Stacking the shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees, spreading your fingers as wide as you possibly can. Your core is still engaged. Coming into cat cow, take a moment just to elongate your spine on your inhale. And as you exhale, round into your back, tuck that tailbone, chin to chest. Inhale, roll the spine, lift into cat. And then exhale, we'll curl, rounding the cats, really feeling the body, trusting the way you feel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. And once more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale into a neutral spine. Keep pulling the belly in. Exhale. Step your right leg back to get a nice inhale. Exhale. Bring your right leg to cross over your left and gaze at your right heel. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Draw that leg all the way out to the right. And gaze at your right toe. Inhale, exhale, cross that right leg over, crossing the legs, gaze at the heel. Inhale, exhale, bring that leg out to the right, gaze at your big toe. Take a nice deep inhale here to exhale, just bring that right leg back in. Take an inhale, exhale, the left leg steps back. Inhale, exhale, cross it over the right, gaze at the heel. Inhale, exhale, bring that leg all the way out to the left, gaze at your big toe. Inhale, exhale, cross it over to the right. Inhale, exhale, bring that leg all the way up to the left knee to your toe. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, bring the knee back in, go step back into plank. Keep engaging your core, lengthening the spine, lengthening the tailbone. Take a nice deep inhale. On your exhale, come all the way down towards the back. Nice, one nice single line. All the way down. Untuck your toes, keep your hands against the mat, the shoulders roll back. You're going to keep lengthening your tailbone, take an inhale into cobra. And then exhale here, drop the shoulders, send your chest forward. And really engage your legs, you're lifting your kneecaps, press into your hands. And you can energetically drag them back towards the back of your mat, so you're really feeling this engagement in the arms, chest moving forward. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down, tuck the toes, press yourself back to plank, and then downward facing dog, walk the dog. Let the head hang. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, lengthen through your heels, don't worry about them touching the mat, so you lengthen through the sides of your waist, lengthen through the arms, pulling the pouring. Inhale here. Exhale. Walk your feet as slow as you can to the front of your mat. And once you come to the front of your mat, let's come into Ardha Tanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. And then exhale, fold forward. Do that one more time. Ardha Tanasana, inhale, halfway up. And exhale, forward fold. Rise up, inhale. And on your exhale, just release your arms alongside you. Standing to Nasana. Shoulders back, pressing firmly down to your feet, lengthening your spine. Let's take an inhale, the arms sweep up. And as you exhale, you just look around. As though you're diving forward, contracting, pulling the belly in. And then opening the arms out again, lifting the chest up. And then exhale, contract and let you draw the fingertips towards your pubis bone. And then inhale, the arms open wide, lift the chest from arching the back. And then exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And 
and exhale. Good. This time, let's take an inhale. Let the arms sweep up. Dive forward on your exhale. Lengthen the spine. Hands go to your mat, your shins, or your blocks. Body to nasa. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant your hands. Sit back into plank. Lengthen here to inhale. Exhale, all the way to the mat. Cobra, inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lengthening through your dog, drop the head. As you lengthen through your dog, see if you can feel your muscles wrapping around your bones, the really hugging the bones. If you don't know what that feels like, imagine that your muscles are just hugging as tight as they can to the bone. Pull your navel in, take a nice deep inhale. Look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, move through vinyasa. And feel the muscles really wrap and hug your bones. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, move through the vinyasa or step back into downward dog. And we lay through your spine. And once more, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Upatasana chair pose. Inhale, bend your knees, sit back. Exhale, ask yourself to stand, palms to prayer. Upatasana, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, move through vinyasa, step back into downward dog. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward, come to warrior one. So you'll reach your back knee. Reaching up through the arms, pull your belly in. Now take a nice inhale. As you exhale, let the arms come out to the side, swing them around and reach them up. Do that one more time. Inhale, exhale, swing them around, contract, reach them up. One more time. Inhale, lift the chest, swing them around, lift them up. Good. This time, take an inhale. As you exhale, swing them around, step forward into Utkatasana. Contract as you do this. Lengthen through, take an inhale. Exhale, press yourself to stand, palms to prayer. Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, move through vinyasa or step back into downward dog. Left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Lengthen through your warrior one. Keep pulling the belly in. Good, take an inhale. As you exhale, the arms come out to the side. Lift your chest, and contract to reach them up. Inhale, exhale. Good, one more time. Inhale, exhale. Good, this time, take an inhale, exhale. Step forward into the potassium. Good, inhale, exhale. Press yourself just down. Palms to prayer. Take a moment, relax the shoulders. Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half breath. Exhale, move through the vinyasa or step your way back down the top. Good, 
Right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, step forward and back to warrior one. Reach your arms up. Uh, this time, as you're taking a towel, exhale, we're going to come into Garudasana arms. So your right arm is going to come right underneath the left. Lifting the elbows up, arch over back and head. As you exhale, come all the way forward, gaze forward. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, come forward. So one more time. So inhale, float your weight up. On your exhale, as you come forward, press through the outer edge of your left foot and rotate your torso towards the right. Try to keep your arms and your eagle arms. Lengthen through that left leg. So inhale. On your exhale, unravel your arms. Place your left hand to the mat. Reach your right arm up. You can come to the ball of your left foot. Keep opening up the chest. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, release, move through vinyasa, or step back and down the back. Let's go right into the left side. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Take an inhale, let your exhale, arms come out to the side. Left arm underneath the right. Garudasana, eagle arms. Stretch through that right leg. Take an inhale, lift the chest, arch back. Exhale, come forward, contract. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Uh, one more time. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Take an inhale here to exhale. Rotate your torso towards the left. Keep your arms as they are. Stretch through your right leg. Take an inhale. Exhale, unravel. Right hand to the mat by your block. Reach up with your left. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Please move your vinyasa or sit back and down the back. Take a cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let out. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Right side. Inhale. Let out. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Take an inhale, exhale, arms come out to the side, right arm underneath the left. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come forward. Take an inhale, exhale, rotate your torso towards the right. Take an inhale, exhale, unravel the arms. Left hand to the back of the block, right arm reaches up. Now from here, take a nice inhale. As you exhale, come to the outside edge of your left foot, turn your right toes out. But come to a modified Vashi Sasana. Now, as you lift, take an inhale, press into your right foot, as you exhale, bring your left knee in. You're going to try to stack your knees and have a seat. Okay? Bring your right hand or right forearm to the mat and then reach your left arm up and over. Lengthen through, take a nice inhale. Exhale. Good, one more, inhale. On your exhale, windmill arms back to the front of your mat. Step into runner's lunge and then step back into downward dog. Okay, left side, inhale, one more. Exhale, step it forward, your knee. Take an inhale as you exhale, arms come out to the side, left arm underneath the right of the rack. Take an inhale, lift. Exhale, come all the way forward. Take an inhale, exhale, unravel, right hand to the mat, left arm reaches up. Take an inhale as you exhale, outside edge of your right foot, left toes turn out. Take an inhale as you exhale, press down into your left foot, draw your right knee in so you can have a seat. Okay. Your left hand comes down to the mat or forearm, and the right arm reaches up and over. Take an inhale. Exhale. Windmill the arms right back to the front of your mat. Step into runner's lunge. This time, step back into plank and move through the mouse. Okay. Take your moment here, lengthen your spine, pull your belly in. Inhale up forward, bend the knees. Exhale, step to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, pull. Look at Sasana chair pose. Inhale. Swing the arms back and around as you exhale. Reach the arms up, palms to the Take a moment. Bukatasana, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, elongate your spine. Exhale, plant the hands, move through vinyasa, step your way back into the other dog. Right leg, inhale, fold up. Exhale, step it forward, warrior two. Let's straighten that front leg, come to Trikonasana. Okay, quickly reach forward, hand to your shin, to your block, to the mat. And then we'll bring that left arm behind us. Let's bring the back of your hand, put your sacrum, and wrap it around towards your right thigh. Take a moment to elongate the spine, pull the belly in, lengthen through your right leg, lengthen through your left leg. Maybe gaze up at the ceiling, maybe gaze down at your right toe. Whatever you choose, let it be true to you. Trust your process and breathe. So take one more full breath. Let your left arm reach up. Take an inhale as you exhale, bring your left arm towards your ear. Take an inhale as you exhale, lift your left arm, swing down, around, go bend into your right knee, come to the right. Flip your right palm, take an inhale to reach back into reverse warrior. And exhale to bend the arms, move through vinyasa, or step back into downward dog. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, straighten your front leg. Take an inhale, reach your torso over that left leg. Come into Shrikanasana, hand to your shin, or to your mat, your block. Let your right arm come right behind you, so bend the elbow, back of your hand to your sacrum, or reach around, grab a hold of your left thigh. Shoulders roll back. Lengthen through that right leg, lengthen through the left leg. Breathe nice and deep. Take one more full breath. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, bring it towards your ear. Take an inhale and exhale. That right arm swings down and around. You'll bend into your left knee, back into warrior two. Lift your left palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, wind your arms, move through vinyasa, or step back into downward dog. Take a cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. Good, one more time, inhale. And exhale. Right leg, inhale, float it up. Exhale, step it forward, come to warrior one. Good, take an inhale, as you exhale, bring the arms out to the side, Left. Right arm underneath the left. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come forward. Good. This time, take an inhale as you exhale. You're going to rotate your torso towards the left. So you're going to spiral your left heel down so toes point towards the left. So you can bring your right shoulder towards your right knee. Take a nice deep inhale here, lengthen. As you exhale, unravel, come into Utita Parjmukhanasana. So your Right hand comes down to the mat on the inside of your foot or to your block. Your left arm reaches up. Keep connecting the arm and the leg. Uh, let's bring that left arm behind us one more time, coming to a half bind.
Take one more full breath. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, the arm towards your ear so you reach. Take an inhale as you exhale. Your left arm swings down and around and press yourself toward your chin. Flip your front palm, inhale, reverse. On your exhale, wiggle your arms. Come to runner's lunge. Plant your left hand, come into your modified Vashi Sasana. Take an inhale as you exhale, draw your left knee in, have a seat. Bring your right hand or form to the mat. Bring the left arm up and over. Take an inhale as you exhale, wing the arms back to the front of your mat. Come into your runner's lunge. Step back and forth your thought. Left leg up and down. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Take an inhale as you exhale, arms out to the side. Left arm underneath the right, right. Lift the chest and head. Exhale, come forward. So take an inhale as you exhale, you're rotating your torso towards the right. So you're bringing your left shoulder to your left knee. Your heel, that right heel spirals inwards, the toes point outward. Draw your left sit bone right underneath you. Take a nice deep lunge, lengthen through, and exhale. Unravel your arms. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Reach your right up, arm up into T top partial cross. Keep lengthening here. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, that right hand comes behind you. You can either place the back of your hand to your sacrum or come into your half line, grabbing hold of your right side, left thigh. Take a few breaths here. Look, inhale, exhale, right arm up, inhale, exhale, right arm towards the ear, inhale, exhale, right arm swings down and around, and press yourself into warrior two, flip your front palm, and inhale, reverse, exhale, wiggle your arms, runner's lunge, right hand stays in the outside of your right foot, Rashi Sasana, take an inhale as you exhale, draw that right leg in, Left hand or forearm comes to the mat, right arm just up and over. Take an inhale as you exhale, wing on your arms, plant your hands, runner's lunge. Move your vinyasa down facing back. Good. Take one more full breath. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Utkatasana chair pose, inhale. As you exhale, the arms swing back, press yourself up, palms to front. Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, fold, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, move your vinyasa, step back into downward dog. Right leg, inhale, float it up. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Lengthen through. Then take an inhale here. On your exhale, those arms come out to the side. They swing around. You contract as you bring the arms forward and up. Inhale, exhale, swing around. And up. last time, inhale, exhale, the arms swing around. This time, step into Utkatasana. Good. Stay in your chair pose. Arms come out to the side. Let your right arm come underneath the left. Lift your left knee and wrap it around. Come to Garugasana. Contract, pull the belly in so you can draw your right elbow towards your left knee. Find a spot in front where you can hold your focus and balance on that foot. Keep the arms, take an inhale as you slowly come up, lift your left knee. As you exhale, 
slowly let your left leg swing back and come into warrior three. Take an inhale. Exhale, release your fingertips to the mat, come to a runner's lunge. Then just step back and down well. Cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, and up. Good, one more time, inhale. Exhale, let it up. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one. Okay, we'll go right into it. Take an inhale, exhale, arms sweep out to the side, contract, reach your arms up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, Ukatasana. Take an inhale, exhale, arms out to the side, left arm underneath the right. Inhale, exhale, lift your right knee, cross it over, coming to Garudasana. See if you can bring your left elbow towards your right knee. Contract, pull belly in. Keep breathing. Take a nice little healthy. Slowly exhale. Keep the arms, pull the belly in, you'll slowly come up. Lift your right knee. And then slowly draw that right leg back. Warrior. Take an inhale. Exhale, fingertips to the mat, step back into a lunge. Move through vinyasa or down and facing down. Cleansing breath, inhale. Exhale, let out. Good, once more, inhale. Exhale, let out. Right leg up, inhale. And so step it forward, warrior one. Take an inhale as you exhale, arms sweep around, contract them. Inhale, exhale. Last time, take an inhale, exhale, step into Kutasana. Uh, take an inhale, exhale, press yourself up. This time, lift your left knee and just cross your ankle over your right thigh and come into a standing lunge. Bring your palms to prayer. Keep pulling your belly in. Keep your palms to prayer. You'll straighten that right knee, lift your left knee. Once more, come back into warrior three. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale. Plant your hands. Come to your runner's lunge. Left hand to the mat. Bashi Sasana. Take an inhale to exhale, draw your left leg in. Right forearm or hand to the mat. Left arm reaches up and over. This time, take an inhale to exhale, come up. And you're going to come into Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Come right into a twist. So you're going to take your left arm, wrap it around your right leg, and bring your right fingertips behind you. You can also come into Ukutaka, come into Tupasana, bringing your right leg forward. Whatever you choose, let this be easy and true for you. Okay, holding your pose, rooting your sit bones down. Take one more full breath here. Exhale, let it out. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, let it out. Pull the belly in slowly, make your way back to the front of your mat. You're going to step back into your runner's lunge. Make your way into warrior one. Release your left heel. Put the arms up. Take an inhale as you exhale. Straighten your front leg. Draw that left leg in just a bit, just to start your stance. Arms come out to the side. You're going to bring your hands behind you. You're either going to come into reverse prayer with your fingertips facing up, knuckle to knuckle, or you're grabbing hold of your elbows. Okay? Whatever you choose, allow that. 
position will feel true for you. Let your right foot come back to your hip square bit. Lengthen through the outside edge of your left foot. So you inhale, you elongate your spine. And as you exhale, fold from your hips. Try to direct your nose, your forehead, towards your shin. Let the crown of your head point towards your big toe. Take one more full breath. And then slowly release your fingertips to the mat. Keep your head down. Stay in your fold. Inhale, lift the chest with a slight bend into that right knee. And please just step back and down the dog. Left leg up and more. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Take an inhale to exhale, arms come out to the side, and contract and reach the arms up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, Bukatasana. Take an inhale as you exhale, slowly straighten your legs, keep the arms extended up, you lift your right knee. Cross that right ankle over your left thigh and sit back into your standing pigeon. Form the belly in. Bring your palms to you. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep pulling your belly in, straighten that front knee, that left knee, lift your right knee, and slowly bring your right leg back, come into warrior three. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, step back into your runner's lunge, right hand down, Vashistasana, those left toes turn out. Take an inhale as you exhale, draw your right knee in, have a seat. Your right hand or forearm comes to the mat, the left arm reaches up, the right arm reaches up and over. Take an inhale as you exhale, try to plant your left foot or come into Sukhasana, so that right left shin is in front of the right. Take your right arm, wrap it around your left leg, and your left arm behind you. Root your sit bones, gaze over your left shoulder. Nice deep breaths. Take one more full breath. Cool belly in, slowly unravel. Hands come back to the front of your mat. Step into your runner's lunge. Set yourself up for warrior one. So releasing your right heel, you'll reach the arms up. And then straighten your front leg. Walk your right foot in just to shorten your stance. The arms come out to the side. And then again, just going to either come into a reverse prayer with the fingers just pointing up. Knuckle to knuckle, you're grabbing a hold of your arms. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. Try to square the hips as much as you can. Lift up and you draw the energy up through your feet and lengthen the crown of your head. Take a nice deep breath as you exhale, fold from your hips. See so if you can direct your nose towards your shin. Let the crown of your head point towards your left big toe. Take a nice deep inhale here. On your exhale, release your fingertips to the mat and just stay in your fold, drop your head. Inhale, lift the chest, slide bend into your left knee. The hands come down to the mat and step back into the plank. Shoulders right over your wrists, really draw the navel in. Look forward, have a long neck. Take an inhale, exhale. 
exhale, slowly, as slow as you can, go down. Bring your arms behind you, interlace your fingers, let's come into Sala Basana, the shoulders roll back, the head not away from the chest. And just exhale here. Inhale. On your exhale, keep your chest lifted. Just unleash the hands, reach the fingertips back. Okay, maybe even lift the legs up. Really lengthen your tailbone. Keep the lift. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let your legs come back to the mat and bring the forearms to the mat, kind of sphinx pose. So get the shoulders right over your elbows, parallel your forearms. Chest lifted. Lengthen your tailbone. One more full breath here. Slowly release. Plant your hands. Press yourself to a tabletop. Let's just do a few cat cows. Take an inhale, lift the chest and cow. And exhale, inhale. Inhale, roll through and lift. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. And exhale. And the last time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Take an inhale into a neutral spine. On your exhale, let's sit back on our heels. You can sit on a block if you'd like, but your palms face up, okay, the back of your hands resting on your thighs, shoulders back. Let's just take a few moments here, and just to center ourselves before we move forward. Feel all the sensations that are running through your body. Find the rhythm of your breath. One more full breath. Let's grab our blocks. Come into a supported fish pose. And so you'll take one block, place it at level two, and you want it to be in a position where it's facing across your mat. Take your second block and place that right in front of your first block. So it looks like an equal sign. You're gonna come and lay right in front. Position your block that you have going across your mat. Position it so that it rests right underneath your shoulder blades or underneath your armpits. Your second block, you're gonna bring your, the back of your head to that one. And we're just gonna bring the arms off to the side. Bring the legs as wide as your mat. If it feels good for your lower back to have your legs extended, keep them. Otherwise, if this does not feel good on your lower back, just bend your knees, bring your feet to the edges of your mat, and then maybe draw the knees together. 
We're just gonna hold this for a couple of minutes. Again, allowing ourselves to just release for a moment, wind down before we move further into our practice and then ultimately into our final rest. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale the knees, place the feet to the mat if they're not already there. Take an inhale as you exhale. Slowly, slowly, slowly roll to your right. Peel yourself off of your blocks. Place your blocks off to the side. And let's come onto our back. Knees bent. Feet to the mat. Draw your right knee in toward your chest, flex your foot, take a nice deep inhale, press your lower back into the mat and fill yourself up, draw the knee toward either your forehead or your legs. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower the shoulders and the head back to the mat. Your left right foot comes back to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, left knee in, flex your foot, press the lower back into the mat, take an inhale. Exhale, float your shoulders, your head up off the mat, draw the knee to the torch and the nose. Take an inhale as you exhale, slowly feel your way back towards the mat. Release your left foot to the mat, bring the arms off to the side. Draw the navel in, pull the knees in, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, float your way over towards the right, let your left arm come with you. Rest your left arm on top of your right arm. Take an inhale as you exhale, slowly open that left arm out to the side, arm comes out like a T. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring that left arm back on top of the right. Inhale, exhale, open that arm up again. Inhale, exhale, float that left arm back on top of the right. Last time, take an inhale, exhale, open your left arm out to the side and pause here in your twist.
inhale. And let's have an audible exhale. Oh. Once more, inhale. Audible exhale. Let your feet come to the floor as you walk your feet and your knees back to the center. Keep the arms out to the side, pull your belly in. Again, float the knees in towards your chest. Keep your legs off, arms off to the side. Take an inhale. Exhale, let the arm, the legs, float over towards the left. Your right arm is going to come and float right on top of your left. Take an inhale and you exhale, open that right arm. Uh, inhale, exhale, float it back on top of the left. Inhale, exhale, open that right arm up to the side. Inhale, exhale, float it right back onto the left. And inhale, exhale, open that arm off to the side. We'll pause here and make our shift. Nice, you can help here. Exhale, let it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Let your feet come back to the floor to your mat as you walk them back, the knees will feet back to the center of your mat. This time we'll draw the knees in towards our chest. We'll hug our knees in, grabbing them with our hands. Take an inhale as you exhale, let your shoulders and your head float off the mat. Curl yourself up like a ball. Take an inhale as you exhale, slowly lower your shoulders and head back to the mat. Open the knees wide, keep the knees wide, or come as happy as you can. If it feels good, rock yourself from side to side. Up. Exhale, knees come together. Release your feet to the mat. Lengthen your legs onto the mat. Release the arms and come into your final resting pose. Let yourself soften here, releasing the breath, releasing the body. Just allowing your practice to take effect. Read the second portion of the poem that I read the earlier of the practice. There is an old tree growing. As you would with a child, hold patience and tenderness in your heart. Coax from within the union of earth and heaven. The world carries you, the stars company, the journey. The darkness has grown absent now. Harmony surrounds you. Stillness is the teacher. Presence is the lesson. Trust in the process that brought you here and the promise of awakening it holds. Surrender fully to your final resting place. <laughs> Thank you. 
Reach your arms back behind you. Begin to stretch the arms and the legs away from each other. Really breathe into your stretch as you stretch through the body. Take a deep inhale to fill yourself up as you continue to stretch through the fingertips and the toes. And then exhale, let go. Drop it back to your mat. Just allow the body to get heavy again. Bend your knees, push your feet to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. And then gently roll to your right. Lay in fetal position for a few more breaths. Slowly press yourself to a comfortable seated position in front of your mat. Sitting up nice and tall, palms to prayer. Let's just take a moment in gratitude. Let's end our practice with an OM. Take a deep inhale. OM. May you continue to live fully in your true essence. May you always know that you are loved. May your heart and mind awaken. May you know eternal peace. May the conditioned self in me honor and recognize this unconditioned self in me. Namaste. As always, it was a pleasure to practice with all of you. Have a wonderful night.